Hopefully you know to do what to do in this situation. Okay, the reason I am um, recording here uh, outside of the school is because, you know, you're not always uh, outside in the street and uh, you don't always have um, enough room uh, to defend yourself uh, and to fight. And that's also the reason why I'm not uh, talking about self-defense very often, uh, but uh, talking about street fighting. So if you train a lot, maybe you train for competition, maybe you train for tournaments and you always train to fight against one guy in a particular style or, or way, um, you have to ask yourself, do you know what to do in a situation like this? Your tools you're training, your tactics you're training, um, are they enough or better to say, are they um, prepare you to uh, react properly in this situation, okay? So, and how, how would you attack these people? How would you defend yourself? How would you fight here? So, that's the question I uh, would ask you in this situation. It doesn't matter what you train, karate, MMA, Jiu-Jitsu, Taekwondo, or whatever, okay? So, um, that's why it's very important um, um, what we are training, uh, we are preparing uh, mostly for uh, this kind of stuff, but uh, unlike like typical self-defense schools, they are, they are like mostly training you know, scenarios uh, and, and not very often they train uh, how to punch properly, how to kick properly, how to use footwork and everything and, and, and body. They just train, if the guy comes like this, you go like this, you go like this, and you go like this, okay? So, um, contrary to this, we are training how to punch, how to move, how to use uh, body mechanics to deliver uh, power in punching and kicking and um, um, striking, okay? So, um, like said many times in my previous videos, in a situation like this where you have um, more than one opponent, opponent, which is more likely to happen uh, outside than like having only one opponent, opponent, because if uh, if you go go just back inside and you stay here, and like if if I'm here and this guy is here and he's alone, he's probably not going to do any kind of uh, stupid uh, things, okay? But if he's got his guys and maybe they're uh, drunk a bit or they just want to have some fun and uh, to punch some guy. Okay, if there are more people there, you know, they, they have more courage to do so. So it's most likely uh, when you encounter a situation like this in, uh, in, in the street that you are going to have more than one guy, probably more than two, okay? Because believe me, uh, uh, some guys from our school or from, from our, like a JKD organization had encounters with people on the street. And I can't remember of one situation, uh, somebody said that he had only one opponent, okay? So that's why it's important uh, to learn and to know and also to train uh, what to do in, uh, in, in a situation like, like this. Like for instance, uh, you, you go and you see these guys. So the most important thing is not to let them to come too close. Okay, so if they're like one is here and other one is here and other one is here. Okay, so they just have to lift the hand and punch me and that's over. Okay, so what what we would train in a situ situation like this, if, if the guys are coming and one one is typically uh, one guy is going to be closer than the other. And the, and the closer to the third, maybe. And the guy who is, is, is coming first, you would typically count the first, and I would use here, maybe go and punch this guy, okay? So, or uh, if he comes first, you could go like here, he comes first, you go here, and you, you make room against others, uh, you make room, you go, you, you move to, to the left, so you have, you have more room toward these guys, okay? So, and this, this is just, just two examples, how you can do this. And this guy could also come and, and, and want to, in, in, for example, he could come and want to grab you and he could go back and then you, you, you just, just come and you, I would just grab his eye, uh, eyes and, and just pull my fingers in. You know, you could also turn his head. And you have to train things like this. You, you have to train tactics like this. And <laughs> this could be uh, a total different situation. This could also be, uh, I'm, I'm coming from here, one is guys here. And you come and you see, and you see here's, here's, here's the danger, okay? So, 
And what you should do is like go here and go to close and wait them to do. You could you could just come here and stay and see if what what's the matter here. And maybe one guy one guy is coming and you, you could kick them and you can punch them here and go here with with, with, the, with the eye jab. So you he this was a growing kick, but he is he, he has protector on. So you have always to train to uh, kick these targets standing like this, these targets standing like this, same target. If his, uh, his, his uh, knee is forward, he's, he's just stepping him, wants to grab you, you could go through the knee. And also if you're standing here, and he's standing here, so you need to, you need to be able uh, to hit these targets from any angle and from any position, okay? Not only on the mats in the school, on, uh, on um, like plain surface, okay? So that's uh, important. To, to also cons consider different levels of, of uh, elevation, like here, or maybe he is up, okay? Maybe here is up, here is here, and I'm here, and I'm like here, and he's coming down, and then you then you would punch in the in the in the nuts. Sorry, man. Then you, you would punch in the nuts instead of kick because it's too high naturally, okay? So you could also go you go with the, with the eye jab first, but you wouldn't side kick the guy because he's like uh, going. Uh, the stairs down, so you have no proper um, uh, target, leg target for the side kick. Usually you would side kick the guy if the uh, leg is forward, okay? Like here. Like he's stepping in to punch you, then you could side kick him. But he's, uh, if he's just uh, walking towards you, <laughs> you wouldn't side kick the leg, you would side kick here, for example, okay? Yeah, I think he's the only one who has a, a groin protector, that's, that's why I'm kicking on him. <laughs> so, um, just uh, uh, to go back to the subject, you need to. Tr uh, if, uh, the difference is, you have to know what you're training for. If you're training for self-defense or for street fighting, because I really don't like this term, term self-defense, uh, you need to train stuff like this and to repeat and to repeat and uh, to to uh, uh, try out different angles and everything. Okay, so. Um, but if you just want to train for competition, one-on-one -on -one fight, that's okay. I mean, uh, many people are talking about street rules. There are street, what are street rules? It means street rules are those rules what you make of it, okay? So for, for me, there, there are no limitations on street, and that's why I'm using what's, what's, what's naturally given most effective, okay? So we're using most effective tactic available. Um, and this is like attacking vulnerable targets on the human body, which is typically eyes. You can go also throat, uh, groin, or knees if he's placed right. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes he would step with this uh, this leg, no gain, and you would gear off him too. He would step in, and you would you would kick the the, the wrong leg. So when he's just walking, I wouldn't kick the side kick to the legs. Okay, so that's how we teach. So on this only side kick if he's doing, uh, um, how you say, like positioning step for punching uh, or <laughs> or even kicking. It, it can be that he, he wants to kick you, but in this environment, maybe not so much, but uh, when there's more room, he wants to kick you, and then you, you can kick through his like standing leg and all his weight is uh, uh, pushing down on the knee and you kick through it. I mean, the damage on the knee is uh, massive, all the, you tear all the the uh, how you say in in English um, ligaments in the in the knee, and um, yeah, that's I want to point out. So uh, the real the most important difference uh, between sport fighting and street fighting. Yeah. So I hope you like it, and see you next time.